I this is wait. This look, is like our like personalities. <laughs> <laughs> a broken a dead alligator and a really pretty oh. <laughs> pottery chipmunk. <laughs> Well, I am here today at Emmitsburg Antique Mall. I'm supposed to meet Kate for crab cakes at Rube's Crab Shack, but I'm 20 minutes early. So I told her, you know what? I'll just go to the antique mall, I'll do a little shopping, and then we can meet up for crab cakes because that's why you come to Maryland, for crab cakes, right? But anyway, we're gonna head in here and see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Check out the Royal Hager, $95. I actually have this one. Um, oh, this is as is. And of course, mine is a lamp. And I got it off of eBay. These figurines are kind of fantastic. 65 for the pair. I always love how this booth is set up. Kind of zeroed in on this little seal here. That is so cute. Seal figurine, $6. Here is some enamel, hand painted enamel on copper. It is signed. Oh wait, Manor, the finest in enamel art creations. Well, I will never forget the time that I found a Lisa Larson bulldog in this booth. <laughs> I always love to peek through here because you just never know. I think this is a Florence Originals. It could be left in also. Florence Ceramics. This is Delia. Right there on the bottom. Some of these can be worth a lot of money. But I'm not sure about this one. I know the one time we, we sold a really rare one um, that we got from the flea market boxes. Well, let's wander into the Poppycock Emporium, shall we? When I was here with the kids a few weeks ago, we picked up quite a few of these skull candles. Kind of digging the owl bank. Let's see what we've got over here. Jim Shore. This thing is kind of adorable. I guess it's a puzzle. What a kiwi puzzle. Oh, it's so sweet. And kind of like mid-century modern in style. Like you could totally set that on your shelf. How much is it? 12 bucks. I think I like that for $12. It may end up on my mantle. Bird flower pot. That's a hobbyist piece. Oh, here's another one. This one is a buffalo, though. I don't like that one as much as I like the kiwi. Those are kind of fun wool sconces. $129 for the pair. I have one on my porch that broke. <laughs> and it, it was a slip shade, a 1980s slip shade sconce. Um, so I really like these, but I don't know if I can pay $129. This wants to be a Mackenzie Child. I don't think it is. No, Amber Rose. What in the world is this thing? Wow, that's heavy. $10 lion. I need to get a better look at it. <laughs> there we go. Sketchy over there. What is that made out of? It's like heavy like metal. I don't think it's pottery. It's kind of weird. I like it. Okay, so this booth is right when you walk in the door, and it's always styled in mid-century modern, so I can't help but gravitate towards it. Looks like they have a Christmas tree here for $98. I found one of those at Goodwill the other day, but mine was missing the base. I'm curious what they have on this little bud vase. $38 on that guy. And I love the glaze on that. I can see behind it is some Royal Hager. I was looking at this booth as I was walking by and saw this in the back. This owl figurine. What is it made out of? I can't tell if it's resin. It says Tiki Black Dots Owl. Huh. 
I really love the design of it. It's 18 bucks, so without knowing who makes it, or even what it's made out of, <laughs> I am a little bit hesitant. But look, there is a puzzle box with a hidden compartment. I like this guy. He's got some chipping around his lid, though. How much do they have on that? 30 bucks. Oh look, he even has a little plug in there. You know what, I think I actually have one of these. <laughs> That's all coming back to me now. I bought one of these a few years ago. Hmm. So much chipping. I think I'm gonna pass. That's a nice size vase, 15 inches, $50. I may or may not resell it. Blue is one of my favorites beside the bittersweet. I feel like I looked at that before. Looks like that massive blue vase must have sold because I don't see it in here any longer. <laughs> Bears are adorable. Did we look at these before? Lichtenware is what they say on the bottom. Oh, that didn't sound good. $25. Let's get a closer look at that. Hmm. It's um, enamel and copper. You can see some of the striations there. A little bit of a chip on the edge. $25. And it looks like it is 20% off. So 20 bucks. There's a sweet grass basket for 30. This one is signed on the bottom. This one is 35, and that's also very pretty. It's gonna be BC on the back. I don't think that I could. 35 on it though. The reason I like this one for 20 is because it's so colorful and fun. There's some Scottish pottery. Uh, the teapot with the cups, it looks like the teapot with the lid is 95 and then the mugs are priced separately. I remember the first time coming across this, I was actually at a thrift store. What is this thing? Are those mushrooms? And are they broken? I can't really tell. I feel like those are mushrooms, but... Cool, I'm seeing a mini art pottery signed vase. Is it a creature? <laughs> I don't know. What's weird is that this is actually glazed. Like, I feel like that's a break. But it's smooth. I don't know, it's giving me weird vibes. Like these? What are these? Those are like Finland. They are. They are Latalia Finland Crystal Candle 649 for the pair. I don't think I've ever seen that form before. A few owls made in Japan. Those dolls are very sweet. SI Studios Oil Light. Oh, I have one of these. What's Pilgrim? See, I didn't know that. I just learned something new. I have a clear one, and I didn't know who made it. Now I do. That thing there is kind of interesting. It's pottery. What pottery? I can't read it. Darn it. <laughs> Lime tin pottery. Never heard of such a thing. Mark Studio Pottery Paperweight. Maybe I need to look up Lime tin. I hope I'm reading that right. It turns out I did read it correctly. It is Lime tin Studio Pottery. So here are some paperweights. It looks like they sell for about $20. And we've got $20 bucks on that paperweight, so I'm just going to set it right back on the shelf here. 
And as I was putting it back on the shelf, I noticed the Solamine. They actually have it marked there. How much do they have on that? Ten bucks. What's wrong with it? Oh, small crack. Where's the crack? I don't know. Small creamer is all it says. Ten bucks. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I think I'll buy it. I love Solamine. I've said it before, Solamine is kind of like the dead and pottery of Italy. <laughs> they have all different critters and it's so much fun. This is kind of neat. Now this booth has a tendency to have a ton of Greyhound stuff, so I feel like those are probably Greyhound price. $50, pair, 90 Interesting, how much do they have on that? $25. I like the Greyhounds, they're kind of interesting. And it is signed on the back, Hound Beyond the Bridge. Oh, I like that. Okay. Now we are going to venture into this mid-century modern booth. Um, it's the same booth as the one that I already showed you. This is their second booth. And I absolutely adore <laughs> all of the things in these booths. But if I buy them, usually they're right at retail and I'm buying them for myself. This dresser right here is fantastic. I love it. This guy here is kind of fun looking. Like, what is that? on his contemporary pumpkin plate. He's like got some kind of weird expression on his face. Look, here's another one. <laughs> this down here looks like it could be Italian. Oh, it's Japan. Made to look Italian. I sold a vase that was similar to this, although it was blue. It was the same style and everything. That one was actually marked Italy, so that one was Italian. I suspect that this was made to actually look like the Italian pottery. Okay, well they just started doing some work on the ventilation system and it's extremely noisy. So I don't know, yeah. I'm going to buy this chipmunk though. <laughs> oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I love him so much. This is, wait, this Look, is like our like personalities. <laughs> <laughs> a broken dead world. alligator and a really pretty oh. pottery chipmunk. I love it. <laughs> Personality <laughs> animals. <laughs> okay, well, my total here today was $214. And I'm really happy with everything I got. Now I did have to cut it a little bit short <laughs> because Kate and I are both starving. And there was a really loud noise coming from the ceiling. Um, so I'm not ending the video here. I'll probably either take you guys back to the house or take you to the shop or find something else for us to do. But I'm not sure what yet. <laughs> but I'll see you there. Okay, well that video was just a little bit short, so I decided to bring you guys back here to the shop. I have a few boxes of auction stuff to go through. Uh, these boxes are from probably like 12 weeks ago. I haven't purchased anything from auction in about 10 to 12 weeks, but we're gonna look at it right now, and um, then we may dig into another box, but I'm not quite sure. Well, there are a few more boxes here. We have three, four. I think I'm gonna dig into this box, and I'm gonna unload it on the cart, I'll be back to you in a second. And here we are. Here is the next box. Um, so you can see there is quite a bit of milk glass in here. All of the milk glass was auction extra. I don't typically pick up milk glass unless it's the antique Atterbury milk glass and then I may make an exception. But um, in this case, it was, ac it was action. It was auction extras. And you can tell it's very, very dirty. So this is stuff I would probably unload in my booth. I usually charge four to eight dollars uh, for milk glass pieces and I just stick them in my booth and um, they move along pretty quickly uh, and it's a good way to get rid of them. The local market is strong for milk glass versus eBay where it's very saturated. This was kind of neat because marked made in Yugoslavia and I don't think I've ever seen anything marked made in Yugoslavia so I just thought that was interesting but it appears to be enamel and probably a cooking dish I don't know if it's for cooking or just a plate it's really neat and I've never seen one like it so I'll have to do a little research on that we have a mayonnaise spoon with no <laughs> with, with no mayonnaise receptacle so it's just hanging out I do remember that there was a sugar that goes with this and it may have been unboxed in a previous unboxing. Um, so I'm gonna go check my shelves and see if I have a sugar for that. 
This guy here is made in China, I believe. Either China or Taiwan. He doesn't have any markings or stickers on him. Now this was in the lot with that those Pyrex Fridges I was talking about where I got all those extra things. And this was another item I actually had my eye on because of the Rosaline glass, which is this pink, um, pink opaline glass. I believe it's called Rosaline. Um, it could also be called Alabastro, possibly. But I just thought this was gorgeous. It's hand-blown. You can see the pontal mark on the bottom is very smooth. And I feel like this could be a decent piece. The two biscuit jars are likely English. I would say probably Bristol glass. They have really nice hand-painted flowers on them. And there are a pair, but they're not matchy-matchy. They have different lids and different handles. But they have a very similar design. So I didn't actually look to see if this one was marked or anything. It's probably silver plate if I had to guess. But those were very, and I guess they're kind of a different shape too. Color maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I thought those were great. Here is a Naked Lady dish. I can't seem to get her to fit on there though, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe she doesn't belong there. She's striking a very seductive pose. <laughs> but the molding on her isn't that great, so you can't really see her face. She's just a form. Now these lights. I was very excited about these lights, and just looking at the photos, I didn't know how old they are. I didn't really know if they were plastic or glass or anything. Um, turns out they are glass. And they are a satin glass. They have these sails on them. You can see by the bulb and the wiring that they do have some age. But honestly, I have no idea who makes them. And when I tried quickly to look up comps on them, I couldn't find anything. I just went with my instinct. Um, and my instinct was, those are unique. I've never seen anything like it. And I think I should buy them. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on these lights. There are a pair. They're probably boudoir lights. Um, but yeah, I was kind of excited. <laughs> I was like, those are still in a box somewhere. I better dig those out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's more. So it's funny because I opened the first box and there were like four of these glasses in there. And I did not remember how many there were in the lot. And so I t pulled the four out and I thought, okay, well, I've got to get these listed. So I took photographs of the four and then I opened another box and there were like six more in there. And I, I said, okay, well, now I've got more. I've got to take new photographs. Fortunately, I have not taken new photographs of them yet because there's a ton more of them. Now, there was some speculation in the comments that these may be Blanco, but I'm not positive on that. If, if you know better than I do, please let me know in the comments because I'm not sure who to attribute these to. It's part of the reason I've been putting off listing them. I have a habit of doing that. I think that's really all that's in this box is just these glasses, so we're going to dig it in the next one. It appears as though Andrew was a little tight on uh, packing supplies. <laughs> He's using Goodwill bags. Um, so this here looks like it could be Viking. I'm going to stick this on the cart and then unload the rest of it. And that's it. That's all that was in the box. I've got a Blanco water jug here. I actually have this color, otherwise I would probably keep it <laughs> but I have um I have the blue one so I can move that one along here we have a purple pitcher this one could also be Blanco but I have such a hard time identifying Blanco um, unless it has a sticker or I can find it in the catalog I usually just list it as art glass um, and I know I've missed pieces and just listed them as art glass and they were actually Blanco this is Hand blown. You can see there on the bottom. I don't really know anything about this other than it's an art glass vase. And then this, which I think is blue neek. So that's it. That's all I've got. I thought there was going to be more to it than that, but um, one box was full of those glasses and I only have four pieces in the other box. So I hope you guys enjoyed going through these boxes with me, even though it was relatively quick. And I'll see all of you tomorrow. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.